Hi everyone, it's the Basil Mento sisters, and we're here today with an FAQ video, which means frequently asked questions. We have our coffee table full of necessities, including this bowl that's going to be full of all our frequently asked questions from YouTube. The first question is, what camera do you use and do you recommend it? I use the Canon PowerShot SD4000 IS Digital Elf. Though it is supposedly a really great camera, I don't particularly recommend it because when you're making stop motions, oopsies. Because if you're ever making a stop motion, it changes the exposure and it's not manual. So if the doll is coming towards the camera, the picture will lighten. You may be able to notice that in some of my more recent videos, it looks like there's something flashing and that's just the exposure adjusting itself. The next question is what editing system do you use? I use iMovie 11. It's so fantastic. The next frequently asked question is, how do you make a stop motion? Upload a movie. There are tons of videos on YouTube of how to do both of these things. So instead of taking up a lot of time and showing you personally, I'm going to direct you to videos on how to make a stop motion and upload a movie in the down bar. I'll put links. Our next and most dreaded FAQ is, sub for sub, will you sub me? Honestly, this is the hardest question I ever receive in my inbox. I feel like a lot of people ask me to subscribe to them, but I never know how to reply because if you look at how many subscription I have, I think I'm subscribed to 10 people and just commenting on my channel and saying subscribe to me is not going to make me subscribe to you. The next frequently asked question is one that we like and it's when will you open an Etsy or can you make me something? I'm flattered every time I get this question. It means a lot to me that you guys even want clothing from me that I've made. But um, unfortunately, if I was going to start an Etsy, it would probably cost a lot of money because um, it's difficult to make a profit selling doll clothes. Speaking of clothes, look, my mom made me the Faraway Downs outfit. The next question is, how many dolls do you have and which ones do you recommend? I have four American Girl dolls. Nolly, which she was a Sonali doll from 2009. Samantha, she's a retired historical. Sarah, she's just like you, number 27. And Felicity, which is now retired American Girl Historical. If you want more info, I'll put the All My Dolls video link in the description. And I recommend all of my dolls definitely. So it's not even worth asking because I just love them all so much. The next frequently asked question is, can we be besties, friends? Of course we can be friends. I love being friends with everybody. But if you haven't noticed, I don't really do the besties thing, so that's probably not a good thing to ask me. This also applies to cyber twins. Some of my dolls are cyber twins, but I can never remember who they're cyber twins with. Oops. <laughs> the next FAQ is, can you make some sewing tutorials, ear piercing tutorials, and a video on how to make a doll TV? Okay, starting with sewing tutorials, I could make them, but they'd probably be really long. So if you do want a sewing tutorial on something basic, leave a comment below saying what you want a tutorial on, and maybe I'll make it. About the ear piercing tutorial, I pierced Nolly's ears a while ago, and I basically used a long thumbtack that my dad had in the garage, so it's not really necessary to make a tutorial on it, and I don't want to pierce any more of my doll's ears, so I'm sorry, but I probably won't be making that one. For the TV tutorial, basically all this is it's a cardboard box with a hole cut in the front, and I printed out some pictures from Google Images, and I just put them in there, and you can pull them out of the way to show another picture, just stack them up. It's pretty simple. The next FAQ is a huge one, and it's, what the heck happened to things that go bump in the night? When will the next episode be out? Ah! Okay. Long story short, I really wasn't enjoying making things that go bump in the night anymore. And when I'm not enjoying making a video, it usually doesn't turn out that well. So basically what I'm doing now is if I feel in the mood to make an episode, I will make one. So the next episode will be probably, I'm hoping within the next month, but you know what? If I just don't feel like it, it probably won't happen. And I'm really sorry. I don't mean to sound bratty. I just, it's not really fun for me to make things that go bump in the night. We decided to skip over Samantha for this FAQ because the question is, what's with Sarah's freckles? What's her name gonna be? All right, so as a lot of you know, I recently painted freckles onto Sarah's face and I used watercolors so I can easily wipe them off when I need to, but I think they turned out pretty well. So this is what her freckles look like and they're definitely not permanent. And I think they really add a lot more character to her face. 
And I'm probably just gonna keep her name as Sarah because I already changed Nolly's name. So she used to be called Sonali, but now she's Nolly. That way there are only two dolls in this family that have names that start with S. And those are Samantha and Sarah. All right, so those are all of our frequently asked questions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, please put them down in the comments and I will try to answer as many more as I can. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. The next FAQ is, oh, ooh, that was kind of cool.